Hello, I am Steve Hunt. I'm a certified public accountant, and I'm the owner of College Tax Refunds, where we help recent college students and their parents claim thousands of dollars that they don't even know they missed on their old taxes. And that's just a huge benefit to them. And I've been diving deeply during several of the last videos into 15 critical, common, costly mistakes that recent college students or their parents and other young adults make at tax time. And the purpose is to make you aware of these common mistakes so that you can avoid them. And also, if you've already made these mistakes, I want to help you fix your old tax returns to get that money back that you missed. And today, we're looking at the ninth common critical costly mistake that recent college students or current college students typically make. And that is that they fail to file a new FAFSA form immediately after they get married. Now, I've recently done a video about the mistake of waiting to get married. Uh, that was a little bit tongue-in-cheek. You can go watch that video. But the idea behind it was that if you're already committed to getting married, you're already in a very committed relationship with somebody, and you're going to get married, but you're just waiting for a little bit more money to come in, and you're a student, you should probably not wait to get married if, they're, if the only reason is financial. Because when you get married as a student, you qualify for lots more student financial aid for Pell Grants and and you may get some additional need-based or merit-based, excuse me, need-based scholarships. And, and you also will qualify for additional tax refunds uh, and, and better tax benefits and credits when you are married. So that's another video. This one I'm talking about, let's say you just, you followed my advice and you got married as a college student. Don't make the mistake of failing to file a brand new FAFSA form. So let's get deeper into that. So what is your FAFSA form? So FAFSA is the uh, free application for federal student aid. And it is a form that you file at your school's financial aid office. You file it every single year and you do it every single time that your family size changes. So you get married, that changes your family size. Or you have a child, that changes your family size. And anytime that your income changes, you should do this just to be sure, you just lost your job or whatever, go file a new FAFSA form whenever anything like that changes, just to be sure that you're getting all of the Pell Grants that you qualify for. Because the, the FAFSA goes from July 1st to June 30th of every year. So at any point during the school year, whenever something changes, you should go file a new FAFSA form, and it determines how much government assistance, like Pell Grants, you are entitled to. And that number can change when your income changes or your family size changes. If you're not married, you typically have to report your parents' income on your FAFSA form. And this makes it so that you're likely not going to qualify for as much in federal aid, in loans or scholarships or Pell Grants or whatever. So you, you don't have to report your parents' income when you're married. And you don't have to report your parents' income at a certain age. And you don't have to report your parents' income uh, under other certain circumstances. And I don't know what all the rules are around FAFSA and Pell Grants, you really should be talking to your school's financial aid office about these things. I'm just making you aware of one common critical costly mistake that newlywed college students make. Um, I, as a CPA, I'm here to help you level up your business, level up your financial life, and especially do your taxes correctly. Uh, and especially since I'm focused on student tax returns, that's all that college tax refunds does. We know exactly how to help you get money back that you missed on your old taxes. And, uh, and this is all we do. What I don't do is I don't help you fill out the FAFSA form and I don't know all the rules around FAFSA, but I do know that college students regularly miss this money because they don't file a new FAFSA when they get married. So if you get married as a student, immediately go file a new FAFSA form. For example, if you get married in June, which is just a couple weeks before the end of the FAFSA year, again, June 30th is the end of the FAFSA year, you can file a new FAFSA form for that FAFSA year, for the year that's ending in June. And then you can file a new one again on July 1st for the next FAFSA year. So you're filing two FAFSAs within just a few weeks. And, and the fact is that they will backdate. They will give you all the money that you missed for the previous FAFSA year. If you got married at the very end of the FAFSA year, you say, oh, I've added a new member to my family. I've got a spouse now. I'm married. Uh, then you are going to qualify for up to $12,500 extra dollars for the previous year, the year that's just ending. But if you wait to file until July, you're going to miss out on all that money from the last year. 
that you could have claimed. So once again, don't wait immediately after getting married, especially if you get married on, on July, excuse me, on June 30th, the last day of June, <laughs> make sure you're planned to go into your student financial aid office on June 30th and file a brand new FAFSA form. It's worth thousands of dollars. It'll pay for your honeymoon. It'll pay for your down payment on a new home. It'll pay for your car or whatever it is. It'll help you avoid student debt. It'll help you kick off your marriage right with a, with a, a grant from the federal government. All right. Now, because this is not a tax mistake, uh, like I say, I don't know all the details about who qualifies and who doesn't, uh, but this is not something you can fix. If you forgot to claim your Pell Grants and file a new FAFSA form back in the year you got married, it's too late. It's gone forever. You can't go back and say, whoops, I forgot. Can I file my FAFSA now and get some Pell Grants? No, you can't. Normally, I can help you fix mistakes you made on your old taxes, but this is a mistake that, that I can't fix. If you watch some of the other videos about critical, common, costly mistakes, you'll notice that for many of those um, mistakes, you can go back and fix your old taxes, and that's why I created collegetaxrefunds.com. It's so that you can know exactly how much money you missed on your old taxes by using the free, financially free, risk-free calculator at collegetaxrefunds.com. You punch in a few amounts, dollar amounts, from your old tax returns, you don't have to punch in any self-identifying information, no social security number. You don't even have to give me your email address or phone number if you don't want to. And you'll find out immediately how much money you're getting back on, or excuse me, how much money you missed on your old taxes. And I can help you get that money back. You can either go and fix your old taxes by yourself. You may have to squabble with the IRS just a little bit, or because we've done this thousands of times and helped students get millions of dollars back, we have a great relationship with the IRS and we can do it for you. And get you that money back within you know a few months you'll get a check from the IRS so I'm just saying if you've noticed that uh, some of those other videos I've made might apply to you go ahead and try that calculator at collegetaxrefunds.com but I, I want to point out that you probably don't even know if they apply to you <laughs> that's the thing here we're talking about money that most college students and parents don't even know they missed so even if you think you claimed all the possible credits and even if you think your family CPA was amazing and he couldn't have possibly missed anything, and even if you used TurboTax and you think it's just the greatest thing since sliced bread, you should use the free calculator at collegetaxrefunds.com just to make sure you didn't miss any money. And especially if you just recently got married. By the way, congratulations on your marriage. Now file your new FAFSA form and now use collegetaxrefunds.com to see if you miss some money because people do miss money when they're recently married. They miss it because maybe they, they don't file their tax return as married filing jointly. Maybe they forget to report their Pell Grant correctly on their taxes. They don't claim the American Opportunity Credit. There's a whole bunch of reasons why people miss money. As you'll notice on this website, the IRS says that about 9 million college students miss money every single year. And the average amount that they miss is $1,300. If you scroll down on this website, you can see a video that explains exactly how 9 million students are missing money every single year. And you can see some of the testimonials from some of our thousands of students that we've helped to claim millions of dollars on their old taxes. There's also a link to an IRS fact sheet. It comes directly off of the irs.gov website where it explains from the IRS why students are missing money on their taxes. And it has to do largely with those who get scholarships or Pell Grants. So if you recently got married and you filed a new FAFSA, now you're gonna hopefully get a Pell Grant. And that means you're getting more money but it also means you're even more likely to miss money on your old taxes. So be sure to come to collegetaxrefunds.com and see how much money you missed and get that money. I'll invite you now to subscribe to this YouTube channel, College Tax Refunds. Click the notification button to be notified whenever we make more videos like this. I'm making videos to help you understand the mistakes that college students make. And I also regularly make videos to help you level up your life so that you can achieve more financial freedom, more financial success, and, and, and become more wealthy and just level up your life in general. So please subscribe and also like this video. And if you have any questions or any comments, please put them in the comments below and I will get back to you if possible uh, or comment or, or excuse me, email me by reaching out to the, at the contact us page here at collegetaxrefunds.com. So uh, please like, oh, and finally, please share this channel with your friends, especially those who are also recent college students or who have recent college students in their family. You don't, want to let them miss money on their old taxes help help them to come and find out how much money they missed and get the money that they missed thanks so much for sharing have a great day